Jeff, the curve of supply and demand is one that runs a lot of economic principles, and on that basis, people have been dying to see your horses come out for the summer. Of course, the rain is critical. We've had a little bit of it, but not enough. But a nice card for you. You start off in race six with three runners, one of which we understand may well be doubtful. Yeah, sadly, I'm going to have to scratch Master Switch. It looks like I've got a touch of Eticaria, uh, which is a pity because, you know, I would have quite fancied him there. Um, but the other two, I think, were still well represented, if you like. You know, Ra Rex Chestnut, uh, I think we've all spoken at length about him. We did finally identify a very deep-seated lung infection, which he had treatment for. And then, of course, the ground got hard, so we didn't run him. But, uh, uh, you know, we're hoping we've got to the bottom of him. And uh, strips a fairly fit horse, maybe, you know, slightly in need of the run. But uh, I think that would apply to some of these runners in the race. You know his class, and uh, you know I would I would have to give him a chance. And along with you know this guy here, Shay Devon, um, somebody said the best way for him to win the summer cup is to walk down the office and have a look, but see what it looks like. But uh, I don't know. I think he's a good horse. He's 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 a bit of a uh, you know a willful bugger, but uh, I do rate him. And in smallish field, tuck him in, have him running on. You know, he got a bad draw, but uh, we're kind of used to that, uh, both the horses. But um, I'm pretty confident they'll both run well, although I think the, the, obviously the horses that are in form in the race, they would likely be the ones to beat. So the tried and tested route is probably on the cards, Charity Mile, San Sui, Summer Cup? Yeah, that's absolutely the route. It's actually the only route. And uh, you know, I was chatting with Patrick Davis yesterday. It's a very difficult um, you know, to try and qualify some of these horses, you're, you're going to need to get the merit ratings up probably around 100. And uh, there are very few opportunities actually to do it. So, you know, that's why I'm particularly sad to have to, to scratch Master Switch. But we'll get him over it. And, uh, you know, if they're good enough, they'll put the hand up. Just hope this time. OK, super. Now we move on to race seven, where you've got horse number seven, Cayman Sunset, and Colin Story in the irons. Yeah, I thought he ran a very gutsy little race last time. Um, actually pulled up with a little bit of post-race distress uh, and I think maybe I put him up over 2,000 metres like a little bit soon, you know. But uh, it was only a second start and I thought it was a good win and freshened him up completely, had all the vaccines and, and ready to go again. Look, once again, poorly drawn. Uh, he's liable to need the run. Uh, I can see him running in the money. It would be hard for him to win. And then, of course, where Gavin Lorena finished off last season, he seems to have picked up with a bang, another treble on uh, Thursday, and he climbs aboard Loco Paul Ganar, who's horse number one. Yeah, he, he, look, he's ultra-consistent, and Gavin gets on with him very well. Um, you know, he's, he's sort of rocketed up in the weights a bit, and so it is becoming harder for him. Uh, once again, Andrew, just fit enough. I don't, I don't think the, any of these horses be bankers uh, on the day because they will obviously come back off a bit of a layoff and vaccines we we find some of them win but some of them you know take a run just just to sort of get back in the groove can be the case with him i hope not he looks well he looks very fit uh, and he's done some pretty solid work at home so you know we haven't left anything to chance it's just a, up to him now and then of course the final leg of the jackpot you see uh, the filly affectionately known as sisters she's number six with raymond danielson yeah so same would apply to her uh, once again you see she's drawing the bush it's just amazing how this filly can never get a draw. But uh, rested and vaccinated and everything ready for, the, ready for the summer season. Very well. Include her in your bets, but uh, not a banker bet.